I forgot to put my AirPods in, so you're probably not going to be able to hear me. But hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. So this is going to be another vlog. I'm just going to a show jumping training day with Riley. We're doing two 60 centimeter rounds, which are going to be his first 60 rounds. So that's exciting. I'm just getting his feed ready to soak. His breakfast. Um, what time is it? It's 6:30. I woke up at six, but I've just been getting ready. Yeah, so we're gonna leave it about nine. Um, our rounds aren't until. What time are our rounds? I'm going with Caitlin, the girl who is just here, and both our rounds are like 10:45, but we're aiming to leave at nine because Riley's probably gonna take ages to get on the flow, and then we can just chill and not have to rush when we get there. Just gonna give him his breakfast after it's soaked. I'm gonna go have my breakfast. Hi. Got my new video uploading. How much does owning a horse cost? Which would have already been uploaded by the time you see this. So go watch that if you haven't. Some things have changed. Namely, there are no guinea pigs and rabbits anymore. So I just had breakfast. Um, it's seven o'clock now. I'm gonna feed Riley. Um, yeah, so, basically, a lot has been going on since I last did a vlog. Basically, last week, Bambi had what I'm pretty sure was floppy bunny syndrome, and it was a whole big thing. We went to Vet West instead of the UPV, which is the unusual pet vet, because I thought she would just have to be put down. That vet was basically just not gonna... I'm not going to say what I'm thinking in my mind, but they just weren't very good and diagnosed her and then we ended up having to take her back to the UPV in after hours and she got put down. So that was very sad. And then uh, we were also getting evicted from this house. So that's also great. And I'm pretty sure that I'm moving in with the girl who keeps her horse here. And I'm going to be moving into like this room outside and it does have an air con, but um, I don't really want to bring the animals in my little room because it would just smell really bad because obviously in summer they need to come inside with an air con because it gets to like 40, 40 degrees here. So uh, I rehomed all the guinea pigs together to one home and I found a really nice home for them. Um, they've got little, not little, little kids, but kids who are going to look after them and the dad's built a huge area for them. And then Chino, <clears throat> which was my other rabbit, I rehomed him a few days ago as well to a lady who has another, um, I think she was in her early 20s or something. She has another rabbit who's free roaming around her whole house, so he's going to be bonded to her rabbit and free roam around the whole house. So I'm really happy with the home that I found for him. So yeah, that's the update. That's why I don't have rabbits and guinea pigs anymore. And we're also getting evicted. Um, our lease ends on the 18th of November which they extended it, so thank God, because it was meant to be the first. Anyway. Now they're quiet. The chickens come in here every morning. Imagine life without a heater. Like, literally just imagine it. So it's eight o'clock now. I'm trying to be really quiet for the people sleeping. But um, he's finished his breakfast. He's just having some hay. I'm going to make his feeds for later on. That was so annoying. I just had to worm Lily, um, no, give her heart guard, which are like these really big tablets, and she would not eat it. And I had to break it into like 10 little pieces and keep sticking it inside her meat, little bits of meat, and it was just a real annoying thing to do. I'm just going to um, unrug them both now because it's getting kind of warm. And then I'm going to give Riley a massage with the massage pad. It's 8.15, so that'll take 30 minutes and I'll go do other stuff that I have to do while he has that. Mint fly spray. Car is all packed. We're about to go. Right, hopefully he just gets straight on the float. Not holding my breath though. Well, isn't that what vlogs are? You talk. What am I meant You're to meant say? to introduce yourself. No, you can just introduce me. You're meant to do it. Hi, I'm Caitlin. <laughs> Welcome to my help group. <laughs> Welcome to your what? So they say help group. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I'm scared. Is this 45? Yeah. Oh my god, 60 is so big. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, Riley, Riley, where, where, where? Greetings everyone, voiceover Sidel back at it again. I just find rounds boring without voiceovers. So anyway, this is the first jump, which he kind of backed off a bit, as you can see, and then he leaped over it, but he still jumped it. My chair is so squeaky, literally, like, anyway. Um, this course had quite a few tight turns. Well, they weren't that tight, but for Riley, they were quite tight. And then there was this jump. He also backed off that, but he still, he jumps everything. This first round he backed off quite a lot of them, the second round he was much more confident and then we come round to this double that's not actually a double, they have a pole, which I find it annoying that the pole was after the jump, not before it, but anyway, he kind of spooked at that filler on the side, which I thought he would and I also gave him a terrible line both times to that jump, I don't know why I just couldn't, I just didn't pick the right time to turn and then, um changing my lead and then we went all the way all the way around to the back to jump this oxa which he actually jumped really nice this was like a decent 60 that time that one was gross the second time he jumped it he jumped it really nice in our second round this jump he jumped so nice because I actually got a nice stride and then you're supposed to turn right here but he was on this left lead and I literally just couldn't so um yeah we had to turn around lucky it's a training round I mean, I probably could have if I really, really tried, but it was just a training round and it was his first 60, so I just wanted it to be nice and chill for him. Um, he got the wrong lead there, just changed it, easy peasy, and then there was just this little jump, which, yep, there we go, and then a kind of related distance or whatever they're called, I got him a bit long to that. And then the last jump here, he jumped it really stupidly every time because he'd be on the wrong lead and then he didn't want to canter and then... He wanted to go to the horses but next to the arena. Anyway, so that was his first 60 round, which I was very happy with. <clears throat> he jumped everything and yeah, so that was that. Now we'll go on to the second round. Oh my god, that tanked. So he felt much more confident going into this round and as you can see, he really locked onto the jump and wanted to jump it a lot more. So that was just easy, the first jump. It's all just the exact same course, the exact same height. And he just jumped everything a lot more nice and confidently. And he, oh no, he got the right lead that I wanted him to get. He, he was still working on his leads. He still, he gets them um, flat work now, but we still, jumping wise, landing on the right lead after the jump, we are still working on. And that one, I just got him a really bad distance too. So he, I just messed up his striding there. That was completely my fault, that pole. Um, changed his lead again. Well, he started trotting. I kind of wasn't paying attention. I was looking at that horse on the side of the arena. Come on, Riley. You, you going to change it, Sadell? No, you're going to stay on the wrong lead? Okay. Anyway, that was cute. Did he change the right lead? Oh, he did. There we look at that. And then he jumped this one so nice both times. And then we actually made the turn this time. Just. It's because he keeps get landing on his left lead. And then it's so much harder to turn him right. When his turns are already not um, amazing. So I am looking nice and not very nice. 
and he didn't run off so much through this distance this time, which was nice, and I got him a better stride. This last run was really weird. He kind of, like, um... Oh, he wasn't the right lead that time. But he kind of went sideways towards the other horses, and then, yeah, it was just kind of weird. But I was also happy with him for this round, so overall it was a very good day. I'm very happy with him. I didn't fall off, didn't die. Might not be saying the same thing tomorrow for the actual competition. We're doing 50 and 60, and there's going to be lots of fillers. So pray for me. I'll be vlogging that too, so that will be out next week. And... I'm going to put in some videos of Caitlin's round now just because... I was a very good boy. Riley was a very good boy. Oh, you're going to come in. Wow. Okay, so we're back. <coughs> Jesus, what just happened? We're back. Um, they were both very good. Riley had, it was his first 60 centimetre rounds and his first round was clear. He was backing off a few of the fences quite a bit. His second round was much better. He was a lot more confident. He did get one jump down, but that was because I gave him a shitty distance into it. So I'm very happy with him. Didn't refuse anything. So couldn't really ask for more for his first 60 centimetre rounds. Um, Banjo was also very good, and what time is it? It's only 12.30 now. That is such an early finish for, like, a show. Even though it wasn't a show, it was just a training day. Anyway, so I'm going to go, I'm going to end this vlog here, and I will, the next video will probably be, um, we've got another, an actual show jumping competition next weekend, so that will be what the next vlog is, not just a training day. So I'll see you guys in that video. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to see more, and goodbye.